Pastor Tunde Bakari, Fires Bishop Oyedepo, says, Stop criticizing government. Donate your church to them as isolation center. Pastor Tunde Bakari of the Citadel Global Community Church, formerly known as the Lateran Assembly, has tactically cautioned Bishop David Oyedepo to stop criticizing the federal government regarding the closure of churches. Recall Bishop Oyedepo had demanded that churches be opened since the federal government has allowed markets to be opened for transactions. But in a video broadcast on Sunday, Pastor Tunde Bakari said that those clamoring for the opening of churches should backtrack. He said such pastors should rather donate their buildings to the government to be used as isolation centers for the management of COVID-19 patients. In the broadcast, Pastor Bakari also said that he has authorized two buildings belonging to his church to be used as treatment centers by the Lagos state government. His words, I would like to bring some ethical corrections, some lamentations of certain people within the church over the ban of congregational worships in churches across the land, why markets and hospitals are allowed to operate. I'm so glad that not only churches are prevented now from congregating, but the mosque also is locked down. The government order to open the market for a few days is to prevent hunger, especially in the lives of daily earners, because the palliatives from the government cannot go to every citizen in their homes right now. Not only that, those churches with multiple facilities, other than the leaders criticizing the government, should collaborate with them. They must be prepared to offer some of their homes to government authorities as isolation centers in support of the efforts of the government. Thank you for listening to this news. Sir, Sir, Sir Pastor Tunde Bakari, well, you're spoken well anyway, but I will say this to you categori categorically that you've, you've um, spoken off point to be precise. You started your, your um, solicitation in a very beautiful manner, in a very beautiful way. But along the way, you spoiled the whole thing with just one line of sentence. And do you know the line of sentence? <laughs> Saying that people, aside from pastors, members of the, of the church should be nice enough to donate their buildings, their houses as an isolation center to the government as a support for government efforts. Do you listen to that line very well? Did you actually digest it very well and ask yourself some questions? See, sir, you're a man of God and I know that by the grace of God, before you speak, you seek for the intervention and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I pray that God will help you understand the, the, the situation that we are right now and the people behind this uh, situation that we are, the people championing it, the people 
causing us to suffer this much. You are asking the people to be nice by donating their houses. Which of which house are you talking about? Even if they have ten houses, it, it in fact is not even ideal one bit to donate any of the building to the federal government for any isolation center. It seems you don't know what is what is happening on ground. These people you are talking about are people which billions of dollars has been donated to. They have been given so much as a support to take care of the masses. So much has been donated to these people, yet they cannot even meet up with even if it is a cup of rice for the masses within this period of lockdown. Even the pastors you are encouraging, like yourself, to donate their churches as isolation centers, gave them millions as donation, believing that through that means or through that channel, the members will benefit. Yes, nothing, nothing ever came to their members. Now, their members are there crying and lamenting. No food, no money. Where will they start from? So, I'm saying this to you that though you've been a respected man of God, with words of wisdom. But then, this, uh, based on observations, on your advice, I would say that they are not acceptable, sir. And when it comes to um, advising Bishop Oyedipo that he should donate his church as a center, <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I will tell you that Bishop Oyedipo has not done any mistake and, and, has, and has not offended anyone by not donating any center, any of his building as an isolation center. And if he decides not to, he will still not offend anyone. The Holy Spirit will still be happy with him. What happened to the millions that he gave to them as a support? What happens to the millions other pastors like Pastor Adeboye, Umuyi, uh, Oyakilime, mention them. Many pastors donated handsomely for these reasons. Yet, nothing is done. Tell me what happened to those donations. So, they have done nothing wrong if they decide not to give anything to anyone. The federal government since the beginning of this lockdown have been very corny and greedy. They have been deceitful they have been allowing the masses to suffer for nothing. They lock them indoor without any provision for them. Well, I will say that that is your own way of contributing for this lockdown. Every other person has his own way of doing it. Maybe you have chosen the way of donating your building as isolation center but these ones have their own way so leave them don't criticize them allow them to decide for themselves they can decide not to give they can decide to give that is for them so in this way i will say Oyedipo has not offended anyone 
So let everybody be. Let the federal government be. Okay? So um, my viewers, this is my little opinion. I don't know what your own opinion concerning this news may be. But please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.